Hello fellow do-it-yourselfers, Terry Peterman, the internet electrician here. I just wanted to get this video out quick. It's a short one, but it could be very helpful in light of the devastating hurricane that passed through the Southeast United States this past weekend. This may help you get your cell phone up and back running and charged if you don't have power. So let's just ensure that this device works before I reverse engineer it and show you how easily it can be put together with some items you may be able to find. So here, let's just test to make sure that it's going to work. And it does. Green light. Charging. Let's show you how it's done. So here's all you need is a 9 volt battery, a charger for a power point, for a 12 volt power point, a charge cord, of course, and a paper clip or anything else that may work to, to make your negative connection. So with a paper clip, just slip it into the negative side on your charge plug. Positive side of the 9 volt battery, which is the smaller post. Push that onto the center of the charge port of the plug. And there you've got a charger for your cell phone. Now if you want to make the hands-free version, you can stand here and hold it and it'll charge your phone. These are only, your phone takes only 5 volts, so it makes sense that a 9 volt battery is sufficient here. It just conditions the voltage down to 5 volts. But if you want to make the hands-free version, I'll show you how to do it with a roll of duct tape. If you happen to have duct tape, good and sticky. Any other tape will do if you can hold it together long enough to make it work, but I'll show you with duct tape. Okay, and to make yourself a hands-free one, all you need is a piece of duct tape. Rip it off to the appropriate length. Any tape will do if you can hold it together long enough, but duct tape is nice and sticky. So stick your battery down. Press it firmly. Then you want to get your negative paper clip on the negative post and your positive compress the spring a little bit stick it down and there you got the hands-free version you can stick that in your pocket Just make sure we got good contact. And again, try it in your cell phone. There you go, back up and running. I hope this helps out somebody out there. If not, it's a cool little hack, but if it can help anybody down in the Southeast States right now that really need to get back up and running so they can call for help, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Terry Peterman, the internet electrician.